Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 16th, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to a quick video update here. Observing another X-class solar flare occurring yet today, multiple M-class solar flares and another X-class solar flare. Watch on the right-hand side right there, as this was not an Earth-facing X-flare but from the departing group, sunspot grouping, which we've been keeping an eye on, it has been very active, multiple M-class solar flares. And look at all the plasma filaments dancing around the northern hemisphere of our sun, right around the poles. And then everything starts to start swirling around up top there, right after the X-class solar flare. Another closer look here at... The event, X-class solar flare, did not produce an Earth-facing coronal mass ejection, but it did produce a CME. Visuals will be on the ISWA space prediction spiral. As well, two M-class solar flares firing away, Earth-facing just after the X-flare. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you all for pressing play and taking time to stay aware and prepared with what our sun is up to today as it has produced a minor X-class solar flare. X1.8, I do believe, is a confirmation. Multispectrum, you can see in the northern hemisphere of our sun, there was still that Earth-facing coronal hole, multiple solar flares, and plasma filaments dancing around the northern hemisphere of our sun our sun is pretty busy heading into solar cycle 25, which is a maximum lasting upwards of 11 years. Amazing images here, 171 angstroms of our sun today. And a look at our sunspot regions. Big black hole on the right-hand side. That is the sunspot region that is responsible for this most recent X-class flare. Quite a few Earth-facing black hole sunspots right now. Current space weather conditions, we are under R3. Strong radio blackout impacts expected. Wide area blackout of high frequency radio communication. Loss of radio contact for about an hour on the sunlit side of Earth. Solar winds are coming in at 387 kilometers per second right now. Minor geomagnetic instability overnight. We got to about 420 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux reporting here. X-class and four M-class solar flares the last 24 hours. Proton flux, little rise there. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP3 last night. Having a look here at the highest frequency affected. These are the areas that were affected the most by the cosmic rays and ultraviolet activity from the most recent flare on our sun. Space weather prediction spiral has not changed their prediction spiral. Still not expecting anything too serious here over the next few days. No major solar storms, Earth-facing CMEs or anything the last couple days. Having a look here at ISWA space prediction spiral, it did produce a CME outgoing you can see that here in the spiral, and it was minor. And you can also see that here on Alaska 2, showing the last two days of images. Outgoing sunspot regions producing X-class and M-class solar flares. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on our sun over the next couple days especially with all those plasma filaments spinning around the northern hemisphere. Now let's get to earthquakes. USGS reporting right now 259 earthquakes in the map, and about 105 of them have been across the California state. There's also increasing seismicity up into the border with Oregon, Petrolia, California. Minor seismicity shaking Petrolia. California, 2.4 being the largest. 
Hawaii is still shaking, only reporting 43 across the island right now, but notable off the coast here, 2.0, Hilo, Hawaii, and as well a couple earthquakes here atop Mauna Loa, Napopo, 3.4 magnitude. Something else I wanted to point out here today, three very deep earthquakes, all the same depth, 594 kilometer depth in Fiji region, three of them. This is a very volatile area. Anytime we see deep earthquakes here, we can expect a larger magnitude. Shallow depth, large earthquake to follow. 594 kilometer depths, three of them in, in succession. So heads up, everybody, we could see a large earthquake here over the next 24 hours. Most recent being a 5.4 Indonesia. Notable activity all through Alaska and the Aleutian Islands, Rat Islands, and all the volcanoes through this Alaskan Strait. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay safe and healthy. And thank you so much for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. We'll see you next video.